Well, hello there. Welcome to Noob Channel. I'm Lobo, and today we're gonna have five tips to get strong at Genshin Impact. Do remember that I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The links in the description. The schedule is also in the channel that's linked in the description. So, without further ado, let's go to it. All right, so cutting the crap, going straight to the point. First tip is spend. You should spend everything. Don't save for anything. The only exception for that is Primo Gems. And there is a specific reason for that. If you want to know how to spend in a smart way your Primo Gems, feel free to leave a comment to ask for it and i'm gonna make a video talking about it but with that said about any other I resource in this game my name in this applies do spend you know you need to spend a lot of those books these books let me try to find it here those uh Heroes with the all the stuff with character experience material. It's really really slow to level up only by killing mobs. You need to spend this in order to make your character maximum level. Don't worry about leveling up the wrong character. There is plenty of experience here to level up any character, alright? So, if you like a character, if you think he has a good damage, a fun playstyle, feel free to max it and try it to its maximum. It's even better for you to decide. When I got Venti, for example, I thought he was a really, really strong damage dealer, and it's kind of true, he is, but Fischl, at least my Fischl, because of the constellation and all, is way stronger so i changed my mind and i wanted to when i tried venti at maximum level and fischl at maximum level i decided that i would main fischl that's no problem about this there is plenty of material some of those material even can be crafted and you can have access to that even before you can actually drop it all right i had those amethyst fragments even before I had electro hypostasis on the map. So I couldn't drop it, but I could craft it. Okay? There's plenty of materials. You will not run out. Even if you do run out, in one or two days, you can have enough just to max out another character again. So spend away, make it strong, then you can. Keep playing your game easily, all right? Second tip, it sounds kind of uh, a contradiction, but very maybe you're gonna understand. Second tip is focus. Focus on one character at a time, okay? Pick one character that you want to max out, that you want to play with. No problem, don't, don't overthink it, like I said. If you change your mind, you will max out another character. It's totally possible. It's actually easy. All right. But focus on one character because once that one character is, is really strong, really maxed out, it will be way easier to level the other ones that you choose for your, for your team. Make sense for you? So, okay. Focus on one character at a time. I focused on my on my Venti, then I changed my mind and focusing on my Fischl. And game is kind of easy now. Not too easy. There are some stuff that I struggle with, but it feels easy overall to travel the map, to face most of the bosses, most of the the enemies. Okay, I'm really strong now because of this so third tip third tip is do quests okay 
just killing mobs as i said before gives you so little mora and so little experience for your characters that if you're if you are just killing mobs it's not worth it you need to do quests and there are several quests in this game even if you step aside of these ones you don't want to rush through the game content you want to be stronger before that that's no problem at all you have events like this you can do elemental crucible as of now and do these quests look how many materials you've got here just by doing the the elemental crucible then you have the test runs that give the little material too then you can do battle pass battle pass quests there are daily missions weekly missions and full time missions that you can rush in order to make your characters strong they give pretty nice rewards and you got the how's this called adventurous handbook i suppose do these just do this remember to not spend primal gems doing that but do it okay you got commissions here daily commissions four commissions every day you got this stuff that you can do in a slower pace and you got domains and you got bosses and all, all that stuff so just do it okay you you are you will learn so much material that you will get strong in no time okay for the fourth tip this one very important spend this these are original resins you got a limit a cap for that you got a maximum of 120 for for a full recharge they recharge over time if I remember correctly is one every eight eight minutes okay uh, and you use this basically to redeem rewards in pretty much anywhere you go like uh, let me find it on the map bosses like this elite characters you need to have original resin to claim it ley lines c20 and you got domains where's a domain here domains you need oh this one is not showing you guys this one maybe uh for some reason i don't need wow i remembered that i needed that maybe not well whatever you're gonna need this for to redeem some nice rewards the point is they recharge so why not spend it why save it when you can just wait a little and have it back and if you get to 120 you stop earning it you're kept it okay so spend it you will see that over time it will pay out all right and fifth tip as important as any other one but way more simple is to open chests every chest whenever you go wherever you go you you will find several chests on the way to where you're going okay some chests are unprotected you just go there and open it some others are protected there are three to four uh, monsters guarding it and you need to kill those monsters in order to open the chest but as you are becoming stronger and stronger where's the chest for me to show you guys maybe there uh, since you are becoming stronger with time and really really stronger by the way following the other tips I'm giving you you will have an easy time killing the monsters and getting to the chests and the chests do give experience they do give primogems they do give mora 
so everything you need to really become strong I can't find a chest now oh if I bring that guy to his destination there will be a chest for me oh you're up yeah I hit you so let me show you guys yeah here when you open a chest there will be loot obviously an MOC juice and primo gems and sometimes those items those books for adventure experience these ones so it's an easy way to level up your character all right and get strong so level up your weapons level up your characters level up your accessories don't be afraid to spend all right second focus on one second tip my fingers are betraying me second tip do focus on one character at a time to level up third tip remember what was the third tip oh rewind the, the video and see what the third tip was follow it also fourth tip spend your original resin fifth tip to open all chests face. by doing Speaking that you go you will get strong enough to beat any challenge on the game at least every challenge i've reached so far i was able with little or a lot of effort to beat it all right i'll make a video about beating the volume if you are strong enough if you are level 40 or 50 you're gonna laugh after you you see and you reproduce my strategy you're gonna laugh the well after the volume's face okay that's it for today if you liked the video please hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more content like this please subscribe it's totally free of charge and turn on the notifications have a nice day wait for your next video see you bye